WDVJ7 starts with a first alert weather day. Good evening, I'm Natalie Fawns. And I'm Jean Chatham. Thank you for joining us. Today is a first alert weather day, so we will head straight to our hometown forecast and chief meteorologist Brent Watts. Yeah, Brent, today it felt more like summer, especially with the storms moving into our hometown. So what can we expect tonight? It did. It felt more like June, July out there. We're going to take a look at the records in just a little bit and show you how close we got to these. But today we've issued the first alert weather day primarily because of that chance of some scattered storms isolated to scattered coverage. That's going to be the key. So we're not looking at any widespread severe weather. The tornado risk looks pretty low. This is mainly for the threat of some of these storms that will pop up into the afternoon and evening and right now. Now the threat mainly is going to be some damaging wind gusts. Now the threat mainly is going to be some damaging wind gusts, isolated damaging wind along with some hail. The reason why we're getting them is because there's a front that's right just to the north of us along and north of that I-64 corridor and it's dropping south tonight. So we're seeing these storms lining up all along that boundary right now. Most of them just north of the Richmond area along I-95. A lot of storms there on the western side of it. We're seeing several of those right now into parts of Pocahontas County, Highland County, getting some of those storms and the thinking is this front will continue to move south tonight. Now sure we're going to lose the, the heating of the day, which helps out some, but because it's been so warm and humid, we're thinking we are going to get some development of those storms later on. You can see the distance, some of those cumulus clouds starting to tower up a little bit higher, but no storms out of those just yet as we look east of the ballpark there in and around the Salem area. So again, not widespread coverage, but there are going to be some scattered storms as we head into the evening and the same thing tomorrow. Additional storm chances are possible with that front near Nearby. We'll come back in just a few minutes, talk more about that first alert weather day, as well as how long this warm weather will stick around. Thank you, Brent, and be sure to scan that QR code on your screen to download the WDBJ7 weather app to stay up to date with today's and future first alert weather days, and be sure to turn on those push alerts. A follow up tonight to a story about a Roanoke County woman who's suing her homeowners association. Where the 6 6 Center ends up tonight at 11. That's real good sports. We're back after the break. We're still seeing that warm weather this afternoon into the evening. Temperatures slowly cooling down, still at 87 degrees of the Roanoke Valley. You can see those clouds building out there, and we're now starting to see some of the showers and storms developing a little bit closer to our coverage area. There's the warm front itself, still north of us, but notice now we're starting to see some development of those showers and thunderstorms just to the southeast of Lynchburg along the 460 corridor and over Appomattox. So again, be weather aware as we head into the evening. We could have some severe thunderstorm warnings. All right, and uh, enjoy the heat for a couple of days. Right, be safe out there. <laughs> Good night. Thank you for watching the region's number one newscast, WDDJ7.